Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Today I'll be featuring Social Media by Xnick. If you love interacting with other people, as well as a minimal, clean theme, you're going to love this. It's also a screen of the day, so you're going to want to have to check it out. Do you enjoy keeping in touch with everyone that you know using different applications? Well, if you do, then this screen is for you. It's got everything you need right on the home screen. We've got our Google+, Tweedle, Tumblr, Facebook, as well as our Pinterest, as well as this minimal looking clock and search widget at the top. And as you can see, they're so easy to open. You just need to tap the icon and it'll bring it up like that. Also, we have our little semi folder in the corner here, or on the side here, and when tapped, brings up our little folder, neat. So, gonna start by bringing you from stock SSL launcher all the way to this. Let us begin. Okay, first things first, we're gonna download and install our SS launcher. Then by tapping it, we'll bring it up. Obviously your wallpaper will be different to this one. So we'll start by tapping at the bottom menu and then say pages, say current background. And then you wanna go add an image. Obviously you just search for the, the wallpaper that Xnink has provided called normal in the social media zip. Once that is done, it'll add it to here, and then see where it says normal, you'll just tap that, and it'll open it like this. Once that is done, we'll start it by adding in our widgets. We'll start off with our UCCW, which as you can see, our UCCW is our little clock right there, nice and fancy and minimal. So all that is, uh, just bring it up, it's just a simple, as you can see, you can't really, let me change the alpha, the background. As you can see, it's just a simple clock with the font called Roboto, Roboto Light Font, which you can download from the Google link below. Once that is done, you can either turn it on the hotspots, you can either make it a hotspot. If you don't know how to make a hotspot for a UCCW, I provided it over here, so you can watch a tutorial on how to do that. So that's the clock, then, we'll start with these icons. Now, these are quite simple. As you can see, we've just used desktop visualizer. We'll hold down and go select widget, and we'll go a desktop visualizer one by one. So it's quite big still. So we'll just tap into it, select icon, image file. I always use quick pick. And we'll scroll down. Now you want to use the Google icons, and we'll say for the plus one for Google Plus, we'll select the plus, we'll select action, launch application, one Google Plus, Clear the label. I always take off touch effect. Yeah, just click OK. You don't have to take off touch effect. So you can see it's quite a bit bigger. So now you just hold it down and you can resize it. It's just got a neat little, as you can see, it's got a, so we move it, if we move it here, it's got this little fine tuning movement that no other launcher has. And it's very handy when you want to move it to a fine space like that. You can move it up and down. Also, it provides you with guidelines, see like that, that make it nice and easy to get in perfectly in line. So that is our widgets, I mean, that is our icons here. But one thing though, you might not find the icon for Tweedle, well, this little hashtag. That is because it is simply a UCCW widget, haha. <laughs> okay, great, next we'll be adding in our semi folder, the one that we tap there, it brings it up like that. We'll go widgets semi folder one by one and then see I've already created a few folders here so you'll just go settings add folder once you create a folder you'll choose one say favorites you can go sort you can add your linked you can add icons but if you want to change it to a blank icon then you'll go widget settings you go widget layouts choose one or just a folder then go icon gallery and then look for your blank PNG you go OK and you remember to save everything for this go back back again and then say something like favorites and as you can see it'll be a blank PNG and all I did there was place it over the little settings icon and there we have our tutorial for today I hope you have enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my color screen as well as visiting the my color screen website if you want to look for more great Android home screens, then visit MyColorScreen.com. You won't find a better site bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screens. Thank you very much, guys. And coming soon will be our ladies' home screen. Sorry for the delay. Thank you very much, guys.